Today we're going to focus on identifying the number of solutions to a linear equation. A linear equation can have three different types of solutions. One could be an inconsistent solution, and that's when you have an equation with no solution. The next is a consistent solution. That's an equation with one solution. And then finally you have an identity solution, and that's an equation with infinitely many solutions. What we're going to do now is take a look at the different types of examples. First, let's take a look at an example of an inconsistent solution. What we're going to go ahead and do is solve for x. I'm going to use the distributive property here, and that leaves me with 5x plus 15 equals 5x plus 3. So I try to isolate the variables here, huh? It looks like I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides. And I end up with 15 equals 3. Well, as we all know, 15 does not equal 3. So that means what we have here is an inconsistent solution. You might also see this as no solution. But technically the term we're looking for here is inconsistent. The next example here is an example of a consistent solution. So I'm going to go ahead and solve for x. Use the distributive property here. I have 3x minus 12 equals 2x minus 2. All right, I'm going to go ahead and solve here. I have x minus 12 equals negative 2. I'm going to add 12 to both sides. And I see that x equals 10. Now, because I have a solution, I have one solution. There's one number that works here. That tells me this equation is consistent. The next example we're going to look at is an example of an identity solution. So here I have 3x plus 5 equals 2x plus 5 plus x. Um, so I'm going to leave the left-hand side the same here, but when I focus on the right, I see I have 2x plus x. That gets me 3x plus 5. Huh, all right. Um, maybe you noticed something already. Let's, let's just say you don't. We'll just keep going. Um, I'm going to go ahead and subtract 3x from this side, and I subtract 3x from this side. And what happens is I get 5 equals 5. Well, 5 equals 5 is certainly true. Um, so no matter what the value is for x, whether I plug in 2 for x, 3 times 2 plus 5, that will equal 3 times 2 plus 5. That'll get me the same value, um, whether it's 2, whether it's 8, whether it's 10, whether it's negative 5 and a half. Whatever number I plug in for x will always make this a true statement. So that means that it's an identity solution. Now, one thing to be careful of is that 5 equals 5 does not mean x equals 5. I'm not saying x equals 5. I'm saying that it's an identity solution, so whatever number you plug in for x will make a true solution, which, okay, also could mean that if I plug in 5 for x would work, but it does not mean that it is a consistent solution. Again, identity means many, actually let's change that and say all values for x. For x would work in this situation. All right, so here's your challenge for today. What I want you to do is work on this equation and tell me if the equation is consistent, inconsistent, or an identity. My hint to you is to maybe get rid of the fractions first.